Welcome to Exometric number 692. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook, Exometric 686 to 697. Hey, 692, we're going to see how to increment numbers inside formulas. Now, I've done a couple other videos on this topic. This just has some slight twists. We want to create with a formula a string of numbers 111, 222, 333. I actually did a video just like this a couple week ago or two weeks. Then we want to do the same idea but repeat even numbers and then odd numbers and then we want to see how to compare that because a very similar construct here except for here we use divide by four because we have we want it to repeat four times. We'll use the same construct except for here we want to list one 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 and then the next row twos, threes, fours and then repeat it. Here, we want to do the opposite, not have the differences down here, but the differences across the columns, and then repeat the ones here. Uh, and this will involve a similar trick, but instead of dividing by 4 to get a, a fraction, we will use the mod function to take the remainder. All right, let's see how to do this. Our first, um, the, the, the guts of the inside of this is the rows function, or later the columns function. I'm in A2, so A dollar sign 2 colon a2. This just, as we've seen many times, increments numbers. It just gives us the numbers like this as we copy down. But what if we subtract 1? Okay, well, it just, start, um, it just starts at a 0. And now, let's take this and divide it by 4. Because remember, our goal was to put uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, what happens if we divide by 4? Well, of course, each time as it goes down, we're going to get some uh, decimals. Well, what we're interested in is 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 2, 2, 2, 2. Well, what if we just added 1 to this? Now we have it. Now we can have some 1's with a bunch of junk after it, some 2's with junk or not, right? So we just use the int int will take uh, that number and go downwards, just hack off the decimals and go downwards. Whoops, I no, always click no, OK. And then double click and send it down. Now that's the, we saw that a couple weeks ago in a video, but now we want to extend this idea to even numbers and odd. No problem, we just take the same idea right here, copy, escape. Actually, this is slightly different than the one I did a couple uh, weeks ago. Uh, there's always different ways to do things. Now I'm going to control V. Well, what do we have to do? What if we just multiply by 2? That'll give us 2's. That'll give us 4. That'll give us 6. Exactly what we need. So we simply take that whole thing and multiply it by 2. And there's our even numbers. 2's, 4's, 6's. Now, if we took that, same exact thing right here. What do we have to do to that to get odd? Subtract 1. OK, so there's three incrementing patterns. And these are used for all sorts of different things. Uh, a lot of times for um, lookup uh, situations where you're looking up different things as you copy a formula certain directions or the small and large function when you're extracting different uh, large or small numbers. Now this pattern over here, this next pattern is going to be, and actually I should insert a column here, insert a column here, and then copy this over so you can actually see the whole thing. We want to repeat ones, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. Maybe this was talking about a row number or a column number. But then over here, we want to do the opposite. We want uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to go here, 1, 2, 3, 4 to go here. Notice it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then we start up a 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, same idea. Actually, we should, we should just go over and steal this. Watch this. We can just steal this part right here. And instead of here, we divided by 4, right? in this next situation, and which gave us decimals. Over here we're going to use the mod function we'll, which will give us the remainder. So equals mod and you put the number in. Uh, that'll be our 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 and divide it by 4. So what's the remainder? 
Well, let's see what the remainder is. Control Enter, double click and send it out. Remember, this was 0, 1, 2, 3. Well, what is 0 divided by 4? What is the remainder? There's nothing. It's 0. What about 0, I'm sorry, 1 divided by 4? Well, it's the there's zero fours in it with a remainder one. Well, what's two divided by four? It is zero because there aren't any. There's not a total of four in there with a remainder two. Except now we just have to add one to that, and we get our one two three four one two three four. Now when we copy this over here, and I should have done the same thing over there, but we get our strings of ones and twos. All right, click insert. I should have highlighted two columns there and inserted it would have done that just fine. So now we get our pattern 1112222333. Now, how are we going to reverse that pattern, right? We want the 1234 to be listed this way. Well, we do the same formula except for instead of rows, we do columns. Copy, escape. Control V. Now there's two things. Not only do we need to change the columns, but this dollar sign's in the wrong place, so I have to click my cursor and F4. Locked this way, but when we go down, it's not locked. Control Enter, copy it over. Oh, there's our one, two, three, four, and then drag it down. There's our ones, twos, etc. All right, that's fun with um, uh, incrementing numbers inside of formulas. We'll see you next trick.